Today at FullOnDrums.com, it's all about polar patterns. There are three basic types of polar patterns, cardioid, omni, and figure eight. When a mic is set to cardioid like this one is, it picks up predominantly from the front, and there's a significant decrease in volume as you move towards the back end of the mic. So now we have the mic set to figure eight. You'll notice it has a full signal on axis like cardioid, a significant null at 90 degrees off axis, and a full signal once again at 180 degrees off axis. Now we're set to Omni, and you'll notice that we have a consistent pickup pattern all the way around the mic. Let's see how we can apply this to recording some drums. Here we have a single MXL 2010 set to cardioid out in front of the kit. Here it is in figure 8. Notice it has a little more ambience. Now we're in Omni. In addition to picking up more ambience, you also get more low end and an overall increase in level. Now here's a few ways to apply polar patterns to specific areas around the kit. Now we have the MXL 2010 out in front of the kick drum set to cardioid. By switching to figure 8, you can get more low end out of the kick with only a slight increase in bleed. Here we have a pair of Cascade Fathead ribbon mics and a Blumline pair centered over the snare. Our rooms are a pair of Audio Technica 4050s in a mid side configuration. Now we're going to cover the whole kit with just two mics. First we have an Audio Technica 4047, which is cardioid, placed underneath the ride cymbal pointed at the snare drum. To get a little more low wind out of the kick as well as some snap from the snares, we have a Cascade Fathead 2 ribbon mic, six inches off the floor, making it the same distance from the center of the bottom head as the 4047 is from the top. Because the back of the mic is facing the snare, it's naturally out of phase. Combine this with the 4047 and we get plenty of punch with only two mics. Now we're going to combine the 4047 under the ride, the Fathead 2 underneath the snare, the Blumline pair of Fatheads for overheads, and the 4050 MS pair in the rooms. So there you have it, a few ways to use polar patterns to get the most out of your mics. Don't forget to like us and don't forget to subscribe. And remember to go to FullOnDrums.com where you can download the full band with multi-track audio files of everything you've just heard. And check out past episodes, interviews, articles, news, and reviews from around the drumosphere. So until next time, keep it on 10.